WA2S Films, an award-winning nonprofit conceived to explore, observe, and produce programs about human-animal interaction. On this episode of The Rescuer's DNA. Yeah, we have some places that we tend to go through every day um, that we're out here, and then we usually just kind of weave in and out of streets. Um, it's amazing, we can see, you know, usually we feed between 40 and 60 dogs every time that we're out here in about four hours. There we go, look at y'all. Imagine her as a healthy dog. Yeah, oh. she's gorgeous. It's okay, I know. Oh, this is the good stuff. There we go. Hey, dear mom. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to follow up quickly. Um, if he's feeding these dogs, they will stay. They'll stay put, okay. um, but we'll follow up quickly. Her, her nipples are huge and hot and, yes, and um, like feel like a rock. There's something wrong. The puppy's either died or she has mastitis. <laughs> The dog led me to two dead puppies and it broke my heart. So you're taking this one with you? Yeah, we're going to take her to the vet. We are going to have her examined, make sure she, she's probably going to need uh, antibiotics for her mastitis and going to have her heartworm checked and um, just kind of have her ha get a health check. Make sure she's okay before we take her home. She is you named her Maxine, right? That's what I heard? Yes. <laughs> Tom went over. <laughs> Maxine! Maxie! Alright, come on, Bubba. She is so skinny when I pick her up, it's like nothing. Somebody. I forgot I was in the fifth ward. I'm Kelly. Oh, okay. And somebody knows what's coming and why. I don't remember who I talked to. Oh. She's running. That's so unusual. And she's very young. I don't know if she got a false pregnancy. You are. Oh, no, girl. It's okay. So. 34 pounds? Okay. <laughs> 34 pounds. She needs to put on some weight. Yes. <laughs> well, we just picked her up in the field, so we're not... We know nothing about this dog. We know nothing except that when she saw us, she started running toward us. I'm sorry, I'm almost done. <laughs> okay, 102.5. You're good. 
we're awful red. We might have gotten just right in the nick of time. Um, okay. We'll, but, we'll worry about the, the rabies. We'll see what she wants to do. Right, yes. because she's skinny and she's got looks like infection. So if she wants to, great. If not, we'll do it later on. Okay, yeah, that's no problem. I could start running the heart one test right now. So. She's a baby. I mean, her teeth are just pearly white. This was probably her first heat. Her first heat. Okay. Let me get somebody to help me get the heart. I will. Oh, okay. Actually, it's one of the other vets. I actually draw it, so. Oh, no, goodness. I don't to worry about it. <laughs> That's not, if she was nursing puppies, that's not normal, is it? Uh, if the puppies and, were, right, if the puppies just came off of her um, pretty recently, like within the last day or two, yes, I would see that. Well, I mean, if she was regularly nursing puppies. So again, if she had been taken off the puppies in the last day or two, that's okay. what you would expect. Like so. she probably was regularly nursing puppies, and then now we don't have any puppies. Because um, the body um, triggers right. all the milk production, and now you don't have any puppies. Because it's it's well, all of the cobble teats are like that. There's like four big huge. So, teats. do you think she has uh, just recently been with her puppies? I would think that again, within the last week, for sure, she was with puppies. Um, okay. Or um, but because again, you have all the mammary development. So, um, but they're not nursing right now. That's what this is leaking. Yeah. She's filled so with it. So for a day or two or whatever, she has not had her puppies to What made me anticipate? Nurse. Tell you the story. The guy that came out said that she was dumped about two months ago and she looked really good. She wasn't skinny. <laughs> and so she may have had her puppies in a pipe and they drowned. Correct. That's what I'm saying. You know, I would have no way of knowing where she... No, we did the app and had her, and every time we'd play the app, she would howl. 
but she didn't lead us to any puppies. So, and with being like that, I didn't think there was any viable puppies. And anyway. the puppy app, Kelly, basically is to trigger her sensibility to go back to her puppies. Yes. That's the idea. And it, and it works. We have had it work in the past. The good thing about this is that it's not infected, it's just in, it's engorged. Um, it looks so red, so that's what I was worried it is, about. It's just because she um, probably had several puppies, so um, she was making a supply a for multiple puppies. Um, and so, like I said, it's just it's really, really engorged. So, because there's no bloody discharge, there's no pus. I mean, that's really true milk. It's just, it's all warm. Yeah, good girl. Mm -hmm. You're super brave, huh? She, I mean, she came running down the street. I saw her and she just went boom. She was heading down the street, but she's apparently dumped because the guy said her hair is coming out. You see, it's dull now. He said she looked really good when she was dumped a couple months ago. Okay. Well, and again, I mean, that's street life. I mean, you can look yeah. at it two months ago. Yeah, exactly. And especially, again, being this young and having puppies, that's not. Yeah. How old do you think she is? Probably a year. Yeah. Young, young, Probably junior. her first heat. Mm hmm. Most likely. Yeah. So she's a young, young pup. I mean, she could be even 10 months old, but so again, yeah. she's got all her adult canines. But she's a, um, a very young pup. Yes, that's what I thought too. And yeah. she's very sweet and friendly Absolutely. and she's leash trained. So I mean, somebody loved her at one time. Yep, she probably was a cute pup. And then yep. whether she outgrew the home or the parents, um, that's what it is. Maybe they just took the puppies and sold them and got mommy. Yeah. Who knows? No telling, no telling. But again, the good thing on these is that um, they're not infected. It's Should not I ice bandage them? Uh, I know with people, I'm an OBG nurse, you know, we, we, we tell them to ace bandage and we actually tell them to use cabbage. Yes, right. So you can do the cabbage things. Most dogs don't lay down long enough for right. you cabbage. And you can do the same thing with a warm compress just to help kind of, again, do it. The worst thing you can do is actually yes, milk let it. it. Yeah, because absolutely. That you, stimulates milk does. production. So that you just have to let it go. Normally I put them on a little anti-inflammatory just to give relief because, okay. again, it's uncomfortable. Okay. But, again, it's not infected, so it's not like an antibiotic. For its opinion, based on what you're seeing, <laughs> yep. this dog has not been around her puppies in a day, two, three? Mm -hmm. Sure, or for several days, because again, the uh, mammary glands are very, very engorged. Um, so she does have milk production like she did at some point nurse puppies, um, but then they're not there. So what happens is the mammary glands continue to fill and um, they don't have us, nobody's drinking it. So it just overfills. And that's why she's just pooling milk right now. It's because she just needs to, and her she, instinct is to make milk to feed babies. And when you don't have the babies, she's making all this milk and it doesn't have anywhere to go. Can you surmise approximately where that process was with her babies? Are they weeks old? Are they months old? Or? I have no idea because dogs lactate and nurse typically for up to six weeks. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So like, yeah. just like with us, um, the first few little bit, they're going to nurse a lot. Um, by about six weeks, the pups are doing, they're transitioning onto regular food. The streets has already started to get her. You know anybody that wants a husky, tell them we yeah. have one. Probably be a month, but she's pretty. She need to be spayed. No yes. more puppies for her. I know that was awesome, huh? He didn't even know I gave you a rabies shot. <laughs> too busy. Yeah. That's a smart bet, huh? Good job. <laughs> so I already gave her her pressure cards. You don't need to do it again until tomorrow. Okay. And then so it's once a day. Mm -hmm. yeah, she and is. the heartworm test. Native. Oh, well, she's young. Yes. So that's. Ready to go home with you for she TLC. Is. She's gonna get lots of TLC. And I'm not gonna be able to pick her up this easy much longer. Ever again, right? I know. She does not believe in Christ. Does it wanna go in there? You're here because you love animals. Help save a life today. Your donation will send the World Animal Awareness Society team on our next mission. From all of us here at the World Animal Awareness Society, 
and WA2S Films. Thank you for watching The Rescuer's DNA. We'll see you next time. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while.